He's yes, a Lord. worthy God. He's a holy God. And this morning, um, I titled the scope and the prayer call this morning, don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for the okie doke. And the reason why is because this morning, as I set my alarm, I was hitting snooze a few times. And it was like, I just felt the need to go and rest my head just a little bit longer as I was praying to the Lord for what he would say to us and what it is that we could express to him. You know, there are often times in, in, in that method, that mode of seeking him, you know, that, that that's where I find the, the answers, that, that last little bit. And so somewhere between 3.30 and 3.40 or, uh, you know, 5.30 and 5.40, depending on whatever time zone you're in, um, that last little snooze, it didn't take very long. I fell off into a sleep. And when I was falling off to a sleep, I saw there was this couple and they were so, they were so quick to get married. Um, Y'all need to share this. It's going to be good. They were so quick to get married because you know, they found somebody who was available. And so they were going to go ahead and get married. And then there was somebody who had made them a gift. And it was weird because it was these corduroy skirts. And I was like, why would they make them corduroy skirts? And they were irritated because they felt like they weren't attractive. And they're like, why would we wear those? I'm sorry for the young lady. It was a corduroy skirt, you know, those old school ones where uh, the, the they had those buttons that you put on and they were gold and, and, the, and the skirt was ivory. It wasn't quite white. And, and on the pants for this man, they were oversized and they were corduroy. And he was like, why are they bigger? They're not even our size. And it was like it was something for them to grow into. And while it wasn't, um, while it wasn't what they felt was attractive, it was something that would benefit them later and and a lot of the times I find in our experience in this life hallelujah that we are looking for what we want right now but it's not going to fit you later you know the person who made these things had some experience and while they didn't feel like they were attractive this person who had made the gift know, knew that married life was going to cause them to put on a little bit of weight it was going to cause some changes in their body and everything that they thought it was right now wasn't going to be how it was going to always eventually end up and there are many of us that are trying to choose and pick things and select things that seem like they fit your today but they're not going to fit your tomorrow the longevity wouldn't be as long but you are so focused on your right now and God is saying I need you to be prepared hallelujah because the things that you do see are temporal but the things that you don't see are eternal hallelujah we need to focus Focus our eyes on what thus saith the Lord in the name of Jesus. And so, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. And then I heard the Lord. I heard the Lord begin to say and express to me what I saw. It was like, um, it was some, it was some, something from the sea. And, you know, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it was like, um, I, I don't know. It was something that was from the sea, from the ocean. And, and, and so, and he likened it into coupling when people come together and don't get me twisted. This is going to go multiple ways. And I'm going to give you that in just a moment. And he said, uh, um, that, that, and, and there was like this, um, they were looking to be soulmate. They were looking to mate. And once they were able to mate, it pulled them out of the ocean where they were, uh, and it pulled them away from what seemed like a, what seemed like danger because they would not be alone. But, but when they got on the other side, because they had gotten the mate, he said, be careful who you choose, because just because it seems like it's somebody available, it was the okie doke because while they were away, in order to mate with the wrong one they were still not out there ready and available for the right one to come don't fall for the ishmaels that seem to be coming your way in jesus mighty name and i heard the lord say this was a year no no maybe two years ago he said i will not marry ishmael in other words god will not give his covenant promise to that which he did not ordain that which he did not authorize that which he it was not in his plan and so listen he says not only 
only are those, you know, and, and they're looking to mate with the first thing that seems like it's available, you know, to, to make that connection, but it leaves them to where they're not available for the right one. Or even if they came back to the ocean, you could have missed what, what was really for you, what was really designed for you. And then on the other side of that, what he also said is while the, while they, they were away and while they were away mating to mate with the wrong one that could cause poison and you may not live to be back available for the right one my God and so God is saying that there are some of you who have joined up who have made it up with the wrong uh, jobs with the wrong people with the wrong friends with the wrong uh, um with the wrong mates and whatnot and God is saying that is not his perfect plan for you. And he said, tell my people, don't fall for it. Don't go for it. Don't be so, um, so thirsty for what you want right now that you don't perceive what I have for you. And, and so I, I release that upon you this morning in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalms chapter number 27, verse 14, and, and, and I'm releasing this over you this morning because there are some times, there are some times when you were so close to promise and, and, and you you're looking and you've been waiting for so long, but you cannot afford to fall for the Ishmael. Ishmael comes before Isaac, the counterfeit. Oftentimes, look, everything looks good. Hallelujah. And it may not even, it may not, it may seem like it, the, it's the perfect fit, but God is saying, I, 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 I want to discern to you. I will release this warning to my people. That way they have the awareness in Jesus name. So you don't fall for what seems like the good thing and not be available for the God thing in Jesus mighty name. Name. And so God is saying, whatever it is, whether it be an opportunity, whether it be a job, whether it be a man, whatever you are aspiring to do in Jesus name, wait, I say on the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus. And so hallelujah, father, I thank you even for your warning. Hallelujah. So we, your people will not fall for the okie doke. We won't fall for the okie doke where we're not available for what you truly have for us in Jesus mighty name. Because there are some of you, you may not even make it back. You may not even make it back. You know, there are often times, and I guess, you know, where, where I was seeing, you know, um, the, these from the ocean because they have mating season, they have mating times. And, and, and God is saying, when you get, when you think that you're going to be um, productive or fruitful or impregnated in whatever area of life or success or what happens you and, and what what they were they were in it was poison and so not only were they not available again but they literally it killed them God is saying that he doesn't desire that any of it kill off any part of you kill off your hopes kill off your dreams or kill off your ability to love again later father cause us to be sensitive cause us to be patient and wait patiently upon the Lord in the name of Jesus father we will wait wait for you. We will wait for you. We will wait for your word in the name of Jesus. And so literally I began to see, I began to see a couple and they were getting ready to proceed down the aisle. Like I said, and they were trying to make things happen so quickly. You know, it was like they just, it was like thrown together. It was thrown together. And, and, and he showed me that that could go one of two ways. Some of you are waiting for everything to be so perfect. But when you have who God has for you, when you have what God has for you, you don't need to wait for the big shebang. You know, God is saying, hallelujah, trust him in the process. But then there are those of you who are so focused on just being able to have, hallelujah, Mr right now that you don't have Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Hello. And so listen, and so they were so just trying to manufacture and it was like they pulled in some kind of wannabe minister to come, come and officiate the services and they pulled in there like anybody who can walk me in the house. It was anybody that was available because they weren't waiting for the right time and they just took whatever was there and whatever was available. And God is saying, if you're so busy just focusing on the first door, you won't see what I have. That, that what I truly have behind the actual door that I had for you. Listen, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord just told me. It's like, it's, it's not even a real door. It's like a dummy door. It's like a door that the enemy done propped up and there's nothing behind it. But if you're, if you're focused on opening that door, you may miss the actual door that God has for you, that God has for you. So, Father, 
Father, this morning, I thank you as you just revealed to us, oh God, what is upon your heart in the name of Jesus, that your people do not uh, be mispositioned, that they are not in, in the wrong position, Father God, that they are available for what you have for them, oh God, in your timing, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalms 27, verse 14, KJV, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. And some of you are like, uh, I'm just so tired of waiting. I just, uh, anything is better than this. And God is saying, don't waste your wait. <laughs> Don't waste your weight this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, let us not waste the weight in the name of Jesus so we don't delay or detour or derail destiny and cause us to have to go through other waiting seasons. My God, today in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh God, let us not be anxious in the way. Let us not be so worried in the way. Oh, wait, I say on the Lord. Hallelujah. Strengthen your people this morning. Strengthen them for the wait. Strengthen them for the wait, oh God, for the divine timing of you, for the divine purpose of you, for the divine plan of you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I was watching um this, this show last night. It's a, one of my good sisters had had this show on because me, I won't even turn on TV. And, and it was called... um. It was called the Spanish Princess, and you know, and and there was so much there. They're from you know uh, Europe and Spain, and you know all that, and there was so much to learn, and so many kingdom parallels. And it was like one lady had been uh, um from the time of her youth growing up. And they had told her who she was promised to. They had told her what her purpose in life was going to be. And, 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 you know, they had planned her life out for her. But then it ended up uh, that, that who she was going to be married to, he died like right after they got married, not too long after. And it seems like all her hope died right after. But because she had already been betrothed and, and if she were to, um, you know, uh, if they were to actual, uh, uh, actually make the marriage solid, she would not be available to marry anyone else. Oh my God. And, and God began to show me that many of his people, he does not desire for you to just hook up with whoever because that you do not want to be disqualified for what he has for you. So father, help us. Uh, hallelujah. To have the patience of God. Hallelujah. To follow through what you've orchestrated for us, your divine plan for us in Jesus mighty name. And father, thank you for being the author and the writer of our story in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah because there have been some that have gone off along the way, but that's the power. That's the power of us serving a God who is the author and the finisher of our faith in Jesus mighty name, because there are some, there are those of you that God is going to rewrite the story. He's going to rewrite the script. Hallelujah. And he's going to work it together for your good in Jesus mighty name. But you don't want to waste this way. God is saying you do not want to waste this way. No more starting overs in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, cause your people to go through as a good soldier to endure hardness, to endure what seems like a, 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 has been a tiring season. Oh God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and wait upon you, whether it be for a spouse, whether it be for uh, finances, whether it be for breakthrough, whether it be for the business, whatever it is that they've been trusting you for in the name of Jesus. Father, let them not be so frustrated. Or where you can forfeit it all in just a moment. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, for some of you, it's not like it's going to be over, but you don't want to start over. Hallelujah. No more starting over. Father, I thank you. There have been some, I don't even know where you are. And maybe you fall off the wagon. You were keeping yourself. And, and, and so you let lost it for one night of pleasure. And then you felt so guilty. You felt so condemned. And the Lord is saying, I, the Lord, forgiveth you. Oh, but you still have to start over. You're starting over. You're starting over. But that's okay. That's okay. Shake the condemnation. There is now, therefore, no condemnation unto them who are in Christ Jesus. I need you to repent and turn away from it in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you fell off the wagon of waiting. And you started manufacturing things uh, to make them happen on your own. Oh, my God. Please forgive us this morning, God. Please forgive us this morning, God.
morning, God, for trying to make things happen on our own. Oh, God, please forgive us for trying to line up and, and make all the right connections and the right calls. Uh, please forgive us for being manipulative and trying to manipulate it in the way we wanted it to go instead of trusting in you. Father, help us to know when it's for us to do our part, oh God, and for when it's time for us to allow you to work so that we don't get caught up in selfish efforts in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, please forgive Give us, oh God, when we get caught up in our own ambition in various areas of life and we don't wait, we stay upon the Lord. Why don't we wait? Because we're really not truly trusting in you. Oh God, please forgive us for not trusting in you to be God enough and God alone in every area of our life, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to not get caught up, oh God, in trying to make things happen on our own. If God told you to do this, that's what he told you to do. Father, help us to obey you in this season in Jesus mighty name and not look at the enemies that seem to be approaching oh God and it seems like they're coming quickly but let us be ready to move forward to charge forward to go forward to do everything that you've called us to do in the name of Jesus father help us not waste the weight in Jesus mighty name oh God oh what a rabbi shake the children of Israel they have been in bondage and slavery in Egypt listen and I mean, it didn't start off all bad, but, but it ended up real bad. Over 430 years, they were in Egypt, and then they find themselves in a wilderness, and, and then they finally are ready to cross over into the promised land, and then they lose their mind when they're over there because they allow some other things to remain, and so it caused them to compromise, and God told them that it would happen, and then what had happened after that? They ended up being sent away as captives, and they were in bondage again in a different captivity it was a different group of people but it was the same captivity the same captivity but it was a different ca culture it was, and so some of you oh my god god finally delivered you from that old situation from that old job so that you could be an entrepreneur and then you know you were doing good and then when it came to a season it got a little rocky you were ready to jump ship and so you found yourself and just it was a, the same bondage it just had a different face. Oh God, deliver us in such a way so we don't continue to end up in familiar places and familiar situations with familiar spirits. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, there are some of you, you keep ending up in, in the same relationship. It's just got a different person's name. Oh God, help us, Father God, to be delivered from the spirit that seems to be familiar where your people keep going back to. Oh God, help us to stop re repeating the same cycles, my God, in the name of Jesus. Some of you, God brings you to a level uh, and you're financially secure and then you go back to old spending habits and it's the same situation. It's just a different month of the year. Oh God, help us, Father God, to learn how to obey your voice and to be sensitive to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We said, if you ever bring us out, we'll never do this again. We'll never be here again. Oh, Father, I pray right now that you would help us, oh God, to be able to see when things seem a little bit familiar, when things, and you call it deja vu, oh my God, hallelujah, help us to identify when it seems like this is a, just a different scenario, but it's the same situation, oh God, help us in the name of Jesus to wait patiently upon the Lord for the right door, for the right opportunity, in the name name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And there's such a potency. There's such an ability when you, when you go first and, and then there are so many that have taken your first and, and God is saying, hallelujah, I am the God. I'm the God. If you will only trust me to wait upon me and know that I have it worked out in the name of Jesus, help us not to go on our own. Help us not to continue to manufacture and create and try to work things out in our own way in the name of Jesus. Oh God, speak to our heart. Speak to our heart. Help us to discern. Help us to rightly divide in the name of Jesus because your time and your opportunity is very close at hand. Your blessing, your breakthrough is close at hand in Jesus' mighty name. Help us not to fall for the imitation. Help us not to fall. Oh God. Oh, help us not to fall for that which is not of you, Father. In the name of Jesus. 
Zo do robo koma ande robo shekin and a mahande robo omasa. Oh God, there are things that seem like they are disguised. Oh God, help us to be able to discern rightly. And there are some of you, you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know it's just something, just something. And that's what you call it. It's just something. Oh God, help us to be sensitive to the it's just something. Oh God, it's not a green light. So hallelujah, help us not to move. Help us not to just continue proceeding with that which you have not said is you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you for causing us to be sensitive, Father. Oh God, keep us in the center of your will, in the center of your counsel. Oh God, send us the right counsel. Help us to be sensitive to the counsel that you send us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you this morning, hallelujah, that you are increasing your people in wisdom, hallelujah, and in strength and in ability, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we trust in you. Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we will trust in the name of our God. We will trust in the name of our God. And so, Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you are getting ready. Somebody is getting ready to see something differently than they've seen. Oh, God, and they're going to say, I can't hook up with that. I cannot commit to that. Oh, because it can forfeit so much greater in the name of Jesus. We're not going to settle for right now. Hallelujah that we missed out on what's right in the name of Jesus Father God hallelujah we're not going to fall for the poison in Jesus mighty name oh God neither are we hallelujah going to be so focused on what looks like appealing to the eye in our today that we don't realize what's going to be good for us in our tomorrow and in our five years ten years from now you are a God that you see further beyond than what we see in our limited eyes so help us to see from your vantage point from your perspective Father God. Hey, hallelujah. Help us to see, oh God, things eternally. Help us to trust in you the more. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah for increasing the vision of your people, Father God, that they will be able to discern in the spirit. Hallelujah. And rightly divide that which you are causing them to see in the name of Jesus, Father God. I thank you right now. I believe you right now. I trust you right now and I count it done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for bringing breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. I thank you for clarity. I thank you for insight. I thank you for strategy. Your people will know who to partner with in this hour and in this season. Oh God, whether it be business partnerships or otherwise, Father God, show us, give us eyes to see if that's the right person to hang out with our children. Father, give us eyes to see what would come as a distraction and a deterrent. Oh God, or or attempt to derail us in Jesus' mighty name that we don't focus on what is destined oh god help us to focus our eyes help us to focus our minds help us to focus our attention and our intentions in the name of jesus father i thank you this morning i thank you this hour that you are divine oh god help us Uh, also while we don't waste the weight help us oh god not to be focused upon the way oh god but when understanding hallelujah that you are working for your people a far more exceeding weight of glory in the name of Jesus so we will wait I say on the Lord oh my God oh God thank you for loving us so much uh, that you show us that you reveal it to us that you expose it to us oh God hallelujah so that we can see things for what they really are oh God I thank you hallelujah help us not to be taken by our own feelings or emotions or issues uh, or, 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 or hurts or, or, or feelings of abandonment or rejection. Oh God, that we don't filter everything that we see or experience through these dysfunctions in the name of Jesus. Deliver from dysfunction in the name of Jesus. May we realize, oh God, no, may we no longer want to keep this level of dysfunction in the name of Jesus, but heal your people. May they desire to be healed 
heal from soul wounds and heal from wounds of this life and hurts from this life and oh God uh, and, and things that they experienced in the past and so they jump for whatever is coming whatever is available or whatever seems like it's the most beneficial because we become so opportunistic help us to wait on the divine in the name of Jesus help us to wait on what is destiny in the name of the Lord I thank you father God no settling for distractions in Jesus mighty name no distraction no deviation no derailments in Jesus mighty name just destiny oh my God I thank you right now and I give you glory right now Hallelujah. And I count it done in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will cause your people to realize when it's something that you're setting up versus something that they're trying to pull all this stuff together to make it happen in what feels like their time frame because that's what they want. Oh God, hallelujah. One other thing that was interesting to me as I was watching the show is, is the boy he came to his father and he said, Father, this is what I want. This is who I want to marry. And this, as this is who I want to marry, this is how it's going to benefit the kingdom. And, 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 and they understood, they understood that their role, even as King's children, that, that whoever they were to marry, whoever they were to link up with, it had to have a benefit to the kingdom. Father, help us to have the mindset, oh God, that whoever we join ourselves with in life, in marriage, in business, oh God, in jobs or whatever it may be hallelujah that it be a benefit to the kingdom in Jesus mighty name so that we are in the right places with the right people at the right time so that we don't end up with the wrong advice or misposition that we miss the divine positioning that you have for us in Jesus mighty name help us to make sure that we put kingdom first oh God and as we take care of kingdom kingdom will take care of us because if they were connected with the right people and they did it for the benefit of the kingdom like for uh you know and there's a lot of times it was for power but it was also in times that it was for peace and so if peace benefited them hallelujah through their marriage through their joining through their covenant then then their 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 whole country was going to be peaceful so it ended up eventually benefiting that person as well help us to understand father god that when we hit the divine destiny connections and, and with the purpose partners and the, with the kingdom connection that you're going to send our way Father, that, that we would be able to do things, oh God, that benefit the kingdom as a whole. They will benefit us personally as well. Hallelujah. Because we can trust that as the kingdom is good, as the kingdom is taken care of, the kingdom will be able to take care of us. Father, help us uh, to have eyes to see, oh God, how your kingdom operates in Jesus' name. That we would seek ye first the, the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all those other things would be added unto us instead of trying to seek things. We seek the kingdom. Oh God, what what is the kingdom righteousness joy and peace in the holy ghost father help us to know that if it is not bringing righteousness if it's not unto righteousness if it's not unto the joy if it's not unto the peace oh god it's not kingdom in jesus mighty name oh god help us to discern that which is pure that which is authentic oh god and avoid and, and not fall for the okie doke oh god in jesus mighty name hallelujah and, and avoid what, what is just because what was a, a familiar what was familiar to us oh god when we were in our dysfunctions and, and when we were operating in the spirit of fear in the name of jesus hallelujah god it does not bring fear because fear has torment oh my god but be help us to be made perfect in your love father in jesus mighty name hallelujah because love casts out all fear and when we understand that you are love and that everything that you do is to for love the love that you have for us God we will trust in you that everything is working together it's coming together for us and so we will not get in our own way oh God help us not to settle for an Ishmael that which is man-made help us to wait for the promise of God in Jesus mighty name and so father and, and, and as I release this over your people oh God we do not allow ourselves to come off the hook of doing our part where you sit back and don't do anything oh God 
God, but we will be led of you, Father God, to do our part as you would have us go forward, but we will not be so busy trying to manufacture what we want to make happen. In Jesus' mighty name, help us not to be uh, um, involved in, in, in mixing all this universalism and all this stuff like that, but help us to realize that everything is unto you, the one true living God. In Jesus' mighty name, that we trust in you and we believe in your in everything that you spoke over us in Jesus mighty name hallelujah we look to you for direction we look for to you for insight that's why we're calling upon you right now so that you will order our day that you will order our steps that you will order our opportunities and we good with that father if you tell us go here go there eat here eat there meet this person connect with this person don't connect with that one oh god we are looking to be obedient to you father in the name of Jesus N allow us not to waste oh God the way allow us not to waste oh God hallelujah though those divine things that you've had laid up for us in Jesus mighty name is our prayer and we thank you as we call it done by the power of the living God in Jesus mighty name hallelujah your people won't fake will fall for the fake doors your people won't fall for what seems like it must be good for right now in Jesus mighty name Hallelujah. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this through uh, um, the Passion Translation uh, of the Word of the Lord. Um, and it says, here's what I've learned through it all. This is Psalms 27, 14. Don't give up. Don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Listen, let me say that again. Here's what I've learned through it all. Don't give up. Don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope. Uh, don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Be brave and courageous. And it says, yes, keep on waiting for God will never disappoint you. He will never disappoint you in Jesus mighty name. You got to be like David. This is a Psalm of David. He says in verse 13, I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. This is verse 13. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I'll say it again. Stay with God. Take heart and don't quit. Hallelujah. Say it again. Uh, stay with God. Take heart and don't quit in Jesus mighty name because you're getting ready to see God do something that you've never seen in Jesus mighty name. He will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint you. He will not let you down. And God is getting ready to come through and you cannot afford to miss your moment, miss your hour, miss your day, miss what you've been waiting for all along in Jesus mighty name. And so we make that confession this morning. Hallelujah. That we believe that we will see the goodness of the Lord, even in the land of the living. Hallelujah. We will see your goodness. We will see your breakthrough. We will see your deliverance. Oh God. We will see the manifestation of what they've been believing you for in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even while they are yet in the land of the living. And yes, we will wait upon you, Father God, an understanding that you will never disappoint us. And so we will not be impatient. We're not going to give up in Jesus mighty name. You're going to hold on and you're going to see what God is doing in the name of Jesus soon and very soon. Hallelujah. It's all going to take place. I, I just see the crescendo of God. I see the crescendo of God. Hallelujah. Where things are all about to make sense after a while. Hallelujah. Where the blessing of the Lord will flow, will flow freely upon the people of God in the name of Jesus. Those who did not quit, those who did not give up, those who did not give out in Jesus name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus name, we pray and we say amen and amen. If you believe that, say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a praise where you are in the name of Jesus. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Father. We trust you with the unexpected twists and turns. We trust you, God. Thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We believe God. We dare to believe God. We dare to trust in the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, glory, glory, glory. We receive it, God. We receive it, God. We're not going to fall for the okie doke. We're not falling for the almost. Oh, God, we're going to wait upon you. And even when it doesn't look like what we thought that it should look like, we're going to wait for what is from you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord, who won't be caught up in self-efforts. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I don't care what opportunity it is. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody said all money ain't good money. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We want what's you, God, not just what's good, what seems good. Oh, God, I thank you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord most high. I'm thanking the Lord for each and every one of you. God bless you, Taisha Connie. God bless you unto you. Um, all of those of you who are on Facebook this morning, much love and blessing. God bless you, Dr. Tyra Hodge. God morning unto you. Victorious Chacha, God morning and God bless you. Brother Curtis this morning, Anthony Ray, God morning and God bless you. Lady Janita, um, uh, Lady Marina, God bless you and thank you so much for um, every super heart. Lady Sierra, Marcia, preaching prophetess Aisha, Carla, Runette, Dr. Abernathy, and Shannon. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you, women of God, in Jesus' name. Thank you all so much for every heart, every thumbs up, every like, and every share. Please do share and invite. Listen, hallelujah. I remember it wasn't too many months ago. We had like, I had no followers, but somebody was sharing, and they were sharing, and they shared it with you. And I believe, God, that you were here because it was been a blessing to you. And so extend that same blessing to someone else. Uh, much love to you all. Thank Thank you so much for every seed that you sow into the ministry. Listen, um, if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me because I not for me to have a million followers, but I'm clear about my assignment. It's to hear from the Lord and release those words over his people so that they don't miss. So you don't miss your moment that you don't miss your season. Like maybe you felt like you have in times past, but this is an hour where God is saying, listen, I'm bringing you the cheat sheet. <laughs> I'm giving you the notes so that you will pass so that you will pass over into your next step, your next level, your next grade, your next moment your next movement the next for you in jesus mighty name it's time for you to cross over it's time for you to cross over in jesus name and so um if you don't follow me make sure you follow me if you would desire to sow you can do so a dollar sign lady jeremiah if you have praise reports you can send them to me at morning manna with lady jeremiah post them to the wall so we can all rejoice with you if you have prayer requests you can send them to me at morning manna with lady jeremiah i know some of you are used to like instant response responses um but as the, we're growing i cannot always get back immediately but i just believe god that we will be getting with you soon in jesus mighty name hallelujah Th that being said um i also thank god for those of you who have been intent we are still believing god we're still within our 50 days till june 9th hallelujah that is a, a pentecost and we're believing god that, that for the for the uh, for the ascension of some things this is divine timing that we are pressing into in Jesus mighty name and when Pentecost came the day of fully Pentecost was fully come hallelujah they were in one place and all with one accord and what God had promised through Jesus hallelujah they were endowed with they were endowed with power and I just believe God that this is the hour where God is getting ready to endow his people with another level of power another level of grace to get done everything that he has intended for you to do in Jesus mighty name God is equipping you for it as well in the name of Jesus and so well, I'm still in consecration where it's liquids only until 3 p.m. And so, um, if those of you, we just, I just believe God in having a consecrated life. So if you would like to, you can join me in with that until June the 9th. Um, and so with God giving us this consecrated life, just like we tithe our money, we tithe our day to the Lord and being intentional, at least tw two hours and 24 minutes of every single day where we are in prayer, we're in the word, we're meditating, hallelujah upon the Lord. I'm not talking about just no regular meditation. No, no, no. Hallelujah. I'm talking about that Joshua one type of meditate on his word day and night. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about hallelujah, worshiping the Lord and being in his daily Bible reading. Speaking of such hallelujah, as we read the Bible every day for a year, we're in chronological order and the chapters for today are second Samuel chapter number 22 through 23. And then Psalm chapter number 57. Again, that's second Samuel 22 to 23. And then, um, Psalm chapter number 57. 
57. So much love to you all. I thank God for every single one of you. I pray that the blessings of the Lord be upon you, that they overtake you, that they consume you, that they overwhelm you as you wait, I say upon the Lord and you trust in him for he will never let you down in Jesus mighty name. He is working all things for your good in the name of Jesus. Now, listen, beloved, um, this may be a different week. I have um, been assigned to some other things. And so I will look forward to joining you. But if the times are a little different um, within this uh, week, and then you'll know why. Um, so give us that freedom for the Lord to be able to do that, which he desires to do. But we will be on hallelujah as the Lord would lead and allow in Jesus name. I must obey God. So I love you. You be blessed. Have a great, good and godly day. Don't let it dominate you, but you choose to dominate your day. Hallelujah. Allow the wind of the wind of God is blowing your way. He's blowing everything that you need in this hour, in this season, in Jesus mighty name. Oh, so Lord, I thank you that you will keep us in position. Oh God, thank you that you're keeping us in position. And not only is he keeping you in position, hallelujah, you're not going to allow yourself to move off of your post so that you can have what he has for you when it's time in Jesus mighty name. We are not going to settle. Hallelujah. We want everything that God has for us in Jesus name. So what? Don't fall for the okie doke. <laughs> Much love and blessing to you all. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for all of you and thank God for each and every one of you. God bless you. Heavenly do for coming in the room. God bless you. The gorgeous one lady Ida. Um, um, in addition to second Samuel 22 to 23, it's also Psalms chapter number 57. God morning to all of you who are here. Thank you so much for your prayers, Lady Runette, Tasha Renfro, hallelujah. To God be the glory. You needed this word. Yeah, wait on him. He's getting ready to move like you've never seen in Jesus' mighty name. Prayer, you can do so at Morning Manor with Lady Jeremiah on Facebook. If you hit me up on my personal messenger, you may not get a response. That's something that I really want to shut down because it's too much foolery goes on. And a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say this. If there are any men of God and you know, um, and you send me friend requests, I, <laughs> I haven't accepted any, but if you message me through Man morning manna with lady Jeremia, I will know that that is your method or means of connection. Uh, um, it is for ministry purpose. And so if I get a friend request, then I'm more apt to accept it. But as of right now, I don't accept any friend requests from any men. Um, because it's just too much foolishness going on. And so I don't want that in my personal inbox. So I'm not uh, monitoring that. So if you have in the past, make sure if you have something that is ministry related, you send it to the morning manor with Lady Jeremiah. Go ahead and po message me there. I will get it. And then um, and then I can respond. So much love to you all. Thank you for adhering and adheeding. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to do some amazing things and he's establishing you and setting the ground rope now and so we just believe hallelujah David said I would have fainted had I not believed but see the goodness of the Lord but I believe I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord right now in the land of the living while I'm yet here not just in the sweet by and by and so wait I say upon the Lord he's not going to disappoint you 